And I'm going to show a little clip from it just to remind us of what we got up to. Uh, and then we'll talk about what happened. So here we go. We took a Coke can. We filled it with water. We boiled it. Maybe you did it on a hot plate in your classroom. Maybe you did it on a stovetop if you did it at home. Once we had that boil, we very carefully used a pair of tongs and we took that can and we flipped it upside down into a bowl of really, really cold water uh, to see what would happen. So here we go. We've got the tongs. Here we go. We're flipping it over and let's see what happens to that aluminum Coke can. There we go. It crushed pretty much instantly. Uh, and I let it just drop in the water there. A little hard to pick up with the tongs after that, but you can see uh, what happened. You can see that crushing, that implosion of the can. So let's talk really quickly about what happened there, why that happened. Let me take that video down and let's talk quickly about what happened. So we had that can. It had a little bit of water in the bottom and it had air. So those are the two things inside that can. We heated it up and the water started to boil. So some of that water went from a liquid to a gas. We call that water vapor. That water vapor, that gas, pushed all the air out of the pop can. So the air that was in the pop can got pushed out by that gas, that water vapor. When we turned that can upside down and we put it in the water, it made a seal with the water. So an airtight seal with the surface of that water. And in just a second, that water vapor turned back into a few drops of liquid. So when that happened, all this empty space was left. The space that was being filled by the water vapor was left open. And that water inside wasn't pushing as hard inside the can. And so the air pressure outside was great enough to push against the can and crush it. We call that an implosion. So nature likes, we saw that in another experiment we did, nature likes equilibrium, it likes to have balance. So when we lost that pressure inside the can, um, the external pressure pushed against it. Uh, and we saw how powerful that air pressure can be when that can imploded. So very, very, very cool. We saw that it filled with water as well. Um, and so the water was pushed up into the can as well due to that changing pressure. And we saw that with our candle experiment, when we had a candle, we blew it out uh, in the cup of water and the water was sucked in from below with that changing air pressure. So that's what happened with our pop can. The water vapor quickly turned back to a liquid, leaving empty space with less pressure. The pressure of the air outside the can pushed in on the can and created that implosion where we saw our can basically collapse.